somebody. Welcome back with Cooking with Nana. Um, today i um, going to teach you guys how to do goi pa and it's um, in Lao we call goi pa is the raw fish. Um, this is what I have in goi pa. I would have um, a fish, a fresh fish. A friend of mine caught it and they brought it for us. So um, it's the striped bass fish. Um, I clean it, I cut the um, part of the fish, the bone here. The bone, I will make a soup out of it. And this is the meat of, I um, took just the meat of the fish. I knock, um, I clean it and um, slice it real thin. And then the main ingredients I have is salt. One ta tablespoon of salt, um, two tablespoon of um, padag, um, this um, fish um, sauce here and then I have MSG, one tablespoon of MSG is the option and then fish sauce and I have one tablespoon of fish sauce, one tablespoon of dried chili pepper, four limes and this is rose, um, rose rice. So this is in Lao we call khao kua. Khao kua is just like a ja, um, sticky rice. You just go and um, roast it and make it a little bit dark. You can add um, kaful lam leaf when you roast it so it brings all the, um, the smell into your rice. So and I'm then I have um, by kihun, um, kaful lam leaf. This is how it looks like. Um, I, I slice real thin and it's I used eight of them. This is kalanga. I chopped it real thin, real small pieces. Ch um, chili pepper, I use tin and slice it. And this is the other herbs that I'm gonna put in. And I have um, mint and other, I don't know the name of this herb, but a lot of people, they would eat it with uh, kailuk and stuff. So, and then I have, this is the vegetable that we're gonna eat with the goi goi ba with it and then this I have banana blossom right here I slice it and when I slice it I soak in cold water some salt and lime in it and squeeze it out and then um, cilantro slice green onions um, green beans the long green beans I slice it real thin and then saw tooth herb I use that also to slice it. If you don't want to use banana um, blossom, you don't have to. But then my mom, she likes to use, she likes to put it on on her goi ba. So this is what's the um, thing for the goi. And this is other uh, thing is for the soup. When the soup I have, I have lemongrass. I have two stock and then I smash it to get the roman um, of the herb out. Calf lime leaf. Here I use like six. Kalanka, slice it. Um, pepper. You can use hollow pino, any kind of pepper you want. Tomato. I slice tomato. And then um, dill. By, um, this is in Lao we call paksi. Yeah. And then we have, and I have salt. My salt is like um, three ta tablespoons of salt. Um, one tablespoon of MSG is an option, and I have um, tamarind. I have the block kind. You can use the block, the one is hard for the soup, and then you can use the powder kind because to make the um, the soup out more a little bit sour. Um, this is what I have, and I have a a pot out there is boiling. I add six cup of water. So I'm going to add all my herbs. I'm going to add the lemongrass, the kalanka, and the kaffalan leaf in the broth while it's boiling. So it brings out the roman of the broth. I got six cups of water and I got to let it really boil so I add my herbs in. I will add lemongrass, um, kaffalan leaf, smash it so you get all that roman the smell of the roman of the pepper lime leaf in there and um, kalanka 
like four or five pieces and then I add my salt, two tablespoons of salt in here. And I wait until it boil up, uh, let it boil again until all the herbs, you can smell the herb coming out, then I will add the fish. Now my, um, my water is um, boiling back up with the herb and stuff, I'm going to add the bone in here. And then I am going to add the chili pepper, um, the pepper in there, and MSG. It's an option. If you want to put in, you can. If you don't, once, let it boil. Don't, um, don't stir it too much because you don't want to, when they say when you stir the fish so much, the, um, the, um, the aroma of the fish comes out, so we don't want to do that. Let it boil and let it sit and then I'm going to add the rest of the tomato, the green onions, and then the um, pat C, the um, dill. So let it cook and then I'm going to go and start showing you my other step of doing goi pa. I would have the fish in here. Okay. I'm going to add one, um, I think it's like one teaspoon or one tablespoon of salt in here. Squeeze the lime. So I'm going to use one whole lime first. You know what? I'm going to use one and a half of the line for right now. Then you use your hand to squeeze it. So you know what? Twelve I'm gonna use two whole line of my on my fish. I'm going to squeeze it real good. Once it's, you squeeze it all good, we're going to squeeze the juice out from the fish in a pot like this. You squeeze it all out, set on the side, and continue to squeeze all the juice out. Or you can just squeeze it in here. Because you're going to use the, the squeeze of the lime of the fish to make a broth with the padak and, and the MSG into it. Okay. So I'm going to use a block of um, tambourine, nam am makam pin gon, throw in there, okay, and then I am going to add my tomato in there, and then you can taste the broth if you want it how you want it so um, I'm gonna wait until the tamarind you can use the powder kind you can add the um, the powder in there but I like the block brings a little bit more into it and I can I'm gonna add a little bit more if it if I want more sour I can add more the powder in there so we're gonna have this cook for another I'm gonna come back like around for five or ten minutes, but I'm gonna load down my um my pot to medium heat. I don't want it to boil so fast. So I'm gonna go back and continue my goi. Ba. The juice 
out from the koi pa that I squeeze the salt in. Okay. And then I am gonna add badak, peng noa. It's an option if you want to put peng noa. You can. If you don't, you don't have to. And and badak. I'm gonna use all of this. Okay. And then I'm gonna add the fish. Skin fish. This is the way my mom does it. So I'm gonna take this to the stove. Took this to the stove and let it cook. Um, the broth, the lime, and the all that um, badak, and then the the MSG and stuff down for probably five, five or two. Um, probably I would do five first and see how it is. And I'm gonna show the rest. Add a little bit more of the powder kind, a spoon. It depends how um, how um, sour you want it. Okay. The fish, um, the bone fish, does not take that long to cook because you don't want to really overcook your fish too. And you taste it. Mm. If you want to add more um, salt, you can. If you want to add fish sauce, if you if you want to, it's the pin of your taste. For me, I'm fine. I'm not gonna add any fish sauce. Let me try one more time. Mm. Party, I'm gonna add a spoon. Yeah, like one tablespoon of fish sauce. Taste it again. If you're happy the way it is, I'm gonna throw my herbs in here. Okay. And then whatever vegetable you have, you can put in that you want to put on your fish. This is the um, wa uh, cauliflower that I have a little bit left in there, so I'm just going to throw in there. So I let it boil for 5 minutes and I shut it off and it should be done. See how it gets together? So this is like 5 minutes. I'm going to let it do another 5 minutes. Um, another 5 minutes but I'm going to... Um, Low down my heat. I don't want it over. So too too low, too medium for another five minutes. Okay, so I turn it off. So it should be it's done. See, like the fish bone is breaking to part of the the meat is out the bone. Taste again. Mm, I'm happy with it. I'm going to turn it off. And then my other one is cooked for like 10 minutes. So I'm going to let it cool down first before I add, before I do another step, okay? The fish that I squeeze, I'm going to put back in the bowl. I'm going to add my kaffir lime leaf in here and the um, kalanka in here first. Spread it out. And then I'm going to add a little bit of the dry chili pepper. Okay. 
remember the broth that I did earlier? I'm going to put in here. Because this already have the badak and the MSG in here already. And the skin. You can slice it, um, small piece, the um, fish skin. Okay. Use use called koa. Um, you know what? I'm going to use my spoon to spoon it because see how much I want it. One, two. I'm going to use two spoons of this for right now. Then you taste it. Mm. If you want kakua, you can add more kakua. So, just taste it along. And then, if you want fish sauce, you can add fish sauce. For me, I'm not going to add no fish sauce because of my broth in here. I already had the MSG and then the padak and the lime of the fish. It's, it's good already. And the rest is those herb. This one, the herb, we didn't slice it. We just picked it, pick it. So there it is. This is my goi pa. And I will plate it and show you how I plate it and how I eat it, okay? So this is goi pa, goi would be like. This is the way my mom teach me how to do koi pa. And this is gang pa. And this is the vegetables that you want to eat with, the whatever you have. I have cucumber, mok tang, mok toa, long beans, eggplant, mok khua, lettuce, pak mok pak khao tong. A lot of people don't like pak khao tong because it smells like fishy. But they say it's good for you. Um, and then this is, I don't know where my mom, her friend brought it. Um, people would call it um, freeway or highway dog my plant, you know. And you then some of the pot that she brought from her friend's house just a little while ago. So her friend's going to come over and have goi pie with us. So you have to have hot sticky rice. So goi pa, this is how I would eat my goi pa. Put it in my plate. If you want more pepper, you can. You know, you can have fresh pepper to bite in it. If you want to add more um, dry chili, you can add dry more chili into it. So, I'll khao ma. Khao ma. Ban khao ho di right? Ban khao. Kui jin. Like this. You put it in your mouth. Mm. Oh my god, it's good. I'm not saying it. It's good. I like the way how it tastes. I'm sorry, my mouth. Um, you can have with mukbang and mukua. Mukua. Kui kim. You want to add more mukua? Pot, whatever, and then my gang. Mm. Getting a serving spoon. Mm. Get the broth. You can get the fish part if you like. And pop whatever is there you want. My pepper have a little chili in it. That's fine. I can add a little more chili in mine. Then you eat. Mm, it's um. 
It's very sour, not too sour. It tastes good. Some kid, my kid, they would do with the rice. They would ban kao, make it a ball on the soup and do like this. That's one way how you eat your your gang and stuff. So this is my koi pa is gonna be like in my gang pa. And this is what we eat with friends and family. All the we share and laugh and talk and enjoy the food that we made. So koi pa gang pa like I said, mother, mother, makin khao nam kan and khop jai lai lai bang video koi tana hao lo an tana hao jeo kan mai la kon sok di pi mai. A fresh striped bass. See the eyes very clear. A friend of mine just went fishing and they caught us a a fresh one. You see how you can tell the fish if it's clean or if it's fresh because this is still pink and then the eye is still clear. So this is what I'm going to do. I use the spoon to clean the okay. You can use the spoon. I have the the um, this two thing that Cleans the fish scale. Also, if you don't have this too, you can use the spoon, like I said. Just so I took the skull out and rinse it. So now I am gonna take this the meat to make goi ba. So I would cut the tail here the tip of the tail, then I use the knife. You try to find a sharp knife and line where the bone, see where the bone, so we're just getting the meat out. Okay. And I just use my knife to Try to follow where the bone line's at because we want to just take the meat. With the neck, yeah, the neck. There we go. This one piece. So continue other side. Now, I did clean the tummy. Some people um, cut the tummy off first before they um, do the fish fillet. So I just try to do whatever is easy for me. So try to clean the inside. Take the all the guts out. We don't need it. Some people use fresh fish. Fresh fish is good. You can buy a fish that is in the market. Make sure the fish is fresh though. Because the fresh is um, the fish is not fresh, it don't taste good. This fish have eggs. So we're gonna keep this is the nugget I got from the meat. Or from the fish. So I'm gonna try to get we don't need the skin. And double check we don't get the bone. If we get the bone, just have to Pluck it or pull it out because that's why we don't need bone for um, koi ba.
So I can cut in half and do like this. I just want the skin. The skin I'm gonna save it for and then this is what I have. I cut the the fish bone. I'm gonna make soup out of that. Gang pa. Save this on the side. Clean, no bone. This feel bone. I'm gonna have to chop a bit of fine. So I will use my knife and slice very thin. So I bang bang. Keep slice all gone. Then the rest I will show you how to make goy. Okay. 